So we serve a God who dwells in the heavenly realms, who rules in power and glory, who has all authority that through Jesus he shares with us. And what's more, we have a God we get to call Father who wants to help us. It's amazing. Let's think back to the Lord's Prayer. When we center our lives on him, when we acknowledge him as our provider, when we keep our hearts clean and free of unforgiveness, then we get to live under his divine hand. Then he sets us free from evil. He delivers us from all tribulation. I want to share with you a passage today from the Old Testament. It's something that Isaiah wrote and declared over the Israelites, the nation of Israel, when they were in captivity in Babylon. It was a really painful time for them, but God used it to call their hearts back to him. And this is the declaration, the cry of a father of hope and redemption over his suffering people. And it's incredibly resonant with us today. And it's worth saying that although in the time of the Babylonians, the Israelites had some very real enemies in the form of their impressors, my understanding of the application of this scripture for us today is that the enemies who God opposes and defeats in our lives through the lens of Jesus are the works of darkness. The very things that were put under the feet of Jesus in Ephesians 1. So let me share the passage with you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. See, all your angry enemies lie there confused and ashamed. Anyone who opposes you will die. You will look for them in vain. They will be no more. I am holding you by your right hand. I, the Lord your God. And I say to you, do not be afraid, for I am here to help you. Despised though you are, O Israel, do not be afraid, for I will help you. I am the Lord your Redeemer. I am the Holy One of Israel. May this truth, this undisputed truth of the ability of God to help us with his powerful right hand and his deep desire to do so drop into our hearts, that we may live out of that place, that we have a Heavenly Father who helps us. Amen.